Hello everyone, welcome to our first lesson of metrology scanning. My name is Alvin from Shining 3D. In this lesson, I will talk about calibration, one of the most important steps before scanning, in order to get an accurate data. The calibration done by our clients generally calibrates the external parameters, that is, the relevant information between the camera and the projector, so as to reduce the distortion of the lens and make sure the scanned image is closer to the real object. Some clients may ask when to calibrate, so when it is used for the first time or either for more than one week, and the scanner was shaken or shocked during transportation. Also, some error occurred during scanning, such as unrecognized marker or acquiring incomplete data. If scanner has these problems, then it needs to be calibrated. Next, I'm going to show you how to calibrate. First of all, check temperature on the bottom right corner of the calibration interface. Make sure the temperature is in the recommended range. Since the calibration temperature in our factory is around 38 centigrade, if subsequent calibration temperature is too high or too low, it will lead to thermal expansion and contraction of lens and other components, which will affect the scanning accuracy. Then we open the calibration board and place it horizontally on the table or floor. Click the scan button to start. For the first step, hold the scanner parallel to the board, align the blue circle with the gray circle, as well as the green bar on top and left side. Then pull up slowly from low position until all the progress bars on the right turn green. The rest of five steps are similar. Just change the angle or position of the scanner following the guide on the right, and the movements are the same. After these steps, it will automatically calculate the deviation. If the deviation is not exceeded the limit, then the calibration is successful. If not, you need to recalibrate. At the end of this lesson, I need to mention some remarks. First, the temperature, humidity, and exposure need to follow the instruction in the manual, especially avoid outdoor calibration with strong sunlight. Secondly, Always make sure that the work inside of the calibration board is clean and free of scratches. If you need clean the board, gently wipe it with a piece of clean damp cloth. Do not use a cloth with chemicals or alcohols. Last point, after using the calibration board, put it in a final bag. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us.